father like I'm Naruto. Keep the blade on me, Ichigo. Who really wanna go toe for toe? TTR from Tokyo. Diamonds flipping up on the stove. Lucky man like a four leaf glow. Diamonds wanna go. Hey everyone, this is Nagato's Adventure. I hope you guys are having an awesome day for today. And as the title states, I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to install MetaNephin emulator on your modded PlayStation 4. And this will allow you to play some of your favorite classic retro games on your modded PS4. And I am pretty excited to talk about this topic for today. Since the PlayStation 4 scene has been quite dormant and really nothing has been happening, even on higher firmwares and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool to, you know, broadcast a video on my channel for today so you guys can learn something new that is happening in the ps4 scene with that being out the way as well since you do need a modded console to of course to run this i do recommend to go ahead and check out my all the one ps4 hacking guide it is two hours long so i do recommend to you know have some free time before watching it but in that video i do showcase a ton of things on how to basically get a ps4 that is modded or basically how to mod your one yourself and i do teach a ton of things on such as how to install homebrew install emulators play back ups and ps2 games and all of that fun stuff in that video so if you are interested on how to run emulators i do recommend to go ahead and check out my all-in-one hacking guide but with that being stated out the way as well if you guys could go ahead and feel free to for, um excuse me follow me on my social medias so you'll never forget the latest hacking guides and tutorials i will have all of my social medias showcased on the screen and bye bye um subscribing to me and also hitting that notification button as well you never forget the latest guides i may have for the playstation for and also now stuff as like the 3ds the um psp and all of that fun stuff as well um if you do want to go ahead and join my official discord as well since i have a community not only you could um join via in the link in the description down below but you can type the link that is showcased here you can meet new people from the hacking and modding scene and you can also get support for your favorite consoles so if you're having any trouble on this guide or just have any question whether dealing with modding in terms of the ps vita you know even the nintendo switch 3ds you can go ahead and ask in my um official discord since i have support chats there but with that being out the way in terms of my social medias and also discord i do want to go ahead and state one thing in terms about donations of course any donations to me is purely optional but whoever wants to basically help my channel grow and want to um you know donate some funds to me whether it be patreon and paypal i will showcase that now right on the screen so if you want to support my channel um by via paypal i will have have that showcased on the screen in a card right now and it'll also be in the link in the description down below but by supporting me you do help with the overall development of my channel and it helps me create better content for you guys to watch as stated before here's also the paypal that will be showcasing on the screen so if you do want to support my channel i do take paypal and any of the money and funds i may receive will go straight back into my channel and it helps with things such as video development helps with buying equipment and all of that stuff and even research or even a console to showcase on the screen or basically not on the screen but for you guys to watch but with all of that fun stuff getting out the way in terms of donations we're going to go ahead and get started for the prerequisites what you need for today for the ps4 and everything that i will state will be in the link in the description down below just like any of my videos so of course you need a modded playstation 4 that is on firmware 1.76 to 4.05 or 4.55 or 5.05 i am going to be using my playstation 4 pro that is on 5.05 for this so you can't do this on higher firmwares than 5.05 so if you did install you know the latest firmware which is 7.00 right now you can't do this process your system has to be you know on a lower firmware um for this process as well either you can use any on um, webkit host for this process but for today i'm going to be using the x project 1.5 five um webkit exploit or you can use al azarif's um webkit exploit as well it all depends on what you want to use for this method but if you guys don't know how to install a webkit exploit on your playstation 4 i will have the um link right now in the description below and also a card showcasing here on basically how to set up x project for this process before doing this but with that being out the way as well you'll also need filezilla ftp client for today and you also need a usb stick either formatted to fat32 or xfat but I do recommend for this process to have a 32 gigabyte um you know sd card excuse me not sd card but a usb stick um for this process since you may want to be transferring a lot of games over um with this method 
some other prerequisites what we need of course is a metanephin.pkg and also you're going to be needing a metanephin folder and this is going to be a zip file as well so this uh, metanephin for excuse me folder this is where you can find all of the configuration files on um, the cheats and also the quote-unquote firmwares which you could be putting your bios at of course you'll need some roms for your emulators and i'm going to be getting a little bit more into detail on which cores or excuse me emulators that it's within metanephin but um as well for um this process for certain consoles um one thing i do want to note that you need to basically have bios files already um you know pre-made on your usb stick and i'll showcase right now on the screen what directory it needs to go in so i'll get more into that um later on in the video as well but this is the directory it has to go in so the meta nephin folder there will be another folder called firmware and then basically all of your bios for your certain respective systems such as the playstation one need to go in there and i'll get more in detail once we get to the pc side of things um some disclaimers i do want to state before we even get into the nitty-gritty of this process and this is just speaking more about the bios um for this um you know steps for meta nephin so as showcased here the sony playstation bios that you may need if you do want to play those games on meta nephin you will need the you know scph um 500 or 5500.bin um if you want to use the pc engine cd this is all of the bios um you know files you need for that if you want to use the pcfx that's the bios you need for that and for the sega saturn um it's not basically operational for this and it doesn't run and it's basically an, an experiment for uh, this process so don't even bother um, trying to set up the BIOS for Sega Saturn since um, it's not even running with this. Hopefully in the future, possibly, you know, Sega Saturn can be run with Meta Nephin or just on the PS4 generally. But this is, was just kind of a thing I didn't want to showcase for this um, process. As well, only Meta Nephin only supports these type of files for your games. So make sure your games are in, you know, .q, .iso, .image, or .bin format if you're using like, you know, the PlayStation games and stuff like that. But if it's for like um super nintendo or actually you know like the sega genesis and stuff like that just use the you know original rom files or basically because um they will work for this process another disclaimer i do want to get out the way as well and there are some bugs this is a very early build of this and it's going to be a work in progress so hopefully there will be patches for this emulator in the future so certain things i will be talking about now so the wander swan and virtual boy uh emulator has an issue with mapping all the keys on the ps4 controller so certain buttons won't be able to be mapped so some certain games or even like um most games wouldn't even be playable with that um some things i do want to know about the playstation 1 emulator as well um it will basically if you have a ps4 pro model like me as opposed to a fat or slim um they may you basically may experience some implications with the graphics or also with the sound but for this showcase i am going to be using my ps4 pro so hopefully um when i showcase all of the you know games on the screen they won't run kind of buggy and stuff like that but that's just something to note as of right now and if you guys um don't know what meta nephin is i basically did a little write-up on the screen on just to give a generalization of it so meta nephin is a multi system emulator that supports some of the greatest classic consoles such as the super nintendo second like genesis ps1 and more and as showcased here here's the list of supported cores and emulators on the screen that um meta nephin supports sega saturn as i stated before doesn't work with this process but some cool ones that i will note here is the sony playstation uh sega game gear the master system or you know the dreamcast um excuse me not dreamcast but the genesis uh you know there's virtual boy as well super nintendo game boy advance and neo geo pocket color and with all of that i'm getting out the way in terms of like the emulators and cores and most of the information i do apologize for you know my intro being quite long but i just want to give a special thanks out to marcus 95 and also a uh, znl uh, ptr for creating this um you know project and meta nephin port for the ps4 with all of that fun stuff getting out the way let's get started on the pc side of things first
Alrighty guys, so assuming that you did follow all the prerequisites I stated in the intro, we could go ahead and get started on the PC side of things. And I do apologize for my intro for being long. I just wanted to go ahead and state a lot of the prerequisites and some useful information so everyone could be on the same base for this process. But with that being um, out the way, what I'm going to go ahead and explain here is the files um, that you'll need for this process and also how I would have it formatted on my PC. So let's go ahead and get started on the metanefin.rar. Of course, this will be in the link in the description down below and you can just download it and extract it out with Renoir on your PC. I'll also have the link for Renoir as well. But once you extract um, the metanefin file from your PC, I'm just going to put it to the side here. You will have another folder called metanefin and you will also have a PKG file that we need to install on our PS4. What we want to do now as well is to go ahead and get our games that are basically supported with metanefin. So if you guys remember in the intro, I did talk about the emulator and cores that are supported. But for today, here's the games I'm going to be using. I'm not going to be putting a lot of them or basically a lot of games in this since it's just tutorial purposes. But as shown in case here, if I go to my SNES folder, I do recommend setting it up like this. So if you're going to be playing, you know, whatever games on you know meta nefin make sure you have your folders label or excuse me create new folders by right clicking and hitting new and then just label um whatever title your game and console goes to so for example i have my snes games into one folder right here and i also have my second genesis games all into one folder right here and i have two ps1 games um, which is Crash Bandicoot and Ridge Racer as well. One cool thing for uh, Meta Nephin as well, if you have multi-track games as like Ridge Racer Evolution is, um, you could put them all on your PS4 and I'll show you guys on how to do this in a second, but they do work for this process. So if you have multi-track games, I haven't tried a multi-disc, but multi-track ones do work for this process. So as long as you have your games labeled in a certain folder like this and they're you know nice and neat what we're going to do ahead right now is go ahead and exit out this folder here and we're going to be explaining about this uh, meta nephin folder that we just extracted so this meta nephin folder right here this is where all of our cheats our firmwares and also our config if you want to mess with that for meta nephin as well but one thing um if you guys do want to play playstation one games which i know a lot of people will um what you want to do here for in the firmware folder in the meta nephin one that we just extracted out we want to go ahead and put our bios here and this is why i did listed what bios files you need i won't provide them due to you know legal issues but you could just either you know dump them yourself or use google but right here you can see that i have my playstation one bios files right here all i'm going to do is put them right here onto my firmware folder and this is very important because we need our usb stick right now to basically transfer over our meta nephin files and our usb stick once we plug it into our playstation 4 we'll be reading these files in order to play um certain titles that needs the uh, bios for certain games so playstation 1 is one of them so hopefully you guys did understand about how i set it up my game into one folder um we also have the meta nephin file and we also have our pkg and if you guys are using bios just go ahead and look back into the intro or in the link in the description down below and i'll have a link explaining on more how to set that up but assuming that you guys did get those steps what we need to do now is go ahead and plug in our usb stick into our computer so well, that's what i'm doing now and we're going to go into file explorer and find our USB stick. So right here, here is my USB stick that we're going to be transferring over. Make sure your USB stick is not formatted to NTFS. And the way on how to check that is, is by right clicking, going into properties. And then from here, your file system should either state that it's on FAT32 or XFAT. Let's say your thing states that it is on NTFS. What we need to do is right click, go into format go into um, file system here if it's on ntfs just switch it over to xfat to fat32 make sure your capacity is the highest as well um your allocation unit size just put to default your volume label this is what you're going to be naming whatever your usb is i just called mine sony and from here make sure your quick format is toggled on and then hit start 
and then it's just stating here that formatting will erase all your data off your hard drive so before even doing this step um make sure to back up your data so if you have any important files or documents put them on another usb or you know put them to you know, your desktop for the meantime but once you um hit that okay button which i'm not doing right now since i do have files i'm going to keep on here um it'll basically reformat your uh, usb drive to fat32 and also to ntfs so once your thing did format, it will get a little window that will state on your computer that everything has formatted correctly. And then you can just go to your properties and verify once again that your file system is not on NTFS, it's on FAT32. So assuming that you guys did understand that step and now your thing or basically your USB stick is either on XFAT or FAT32 for that process. What we need to do now is go ahead and take our three files are basically a metanephin and also a metanephin pkg and put it onto the root of our folder we're actually not going to um put our games onto our usb i mean you can if you want to but the way on how i'm going to do it is run it from files of the ftp client but what we need to do now from here is just go ahead and exit out of our flash drive make sure we hit hidden icons and then basically extract out our USB drive. And what we need to do now, since we got our two files extracted on the USB, we need to go ahead to our PlayStation 4, plug it in, run the WebKit exploit, and then we need to install MetaNephin. And I'll you know showcase that on the screen right now. Alrighty guys, so as showcased here, we're back onto my modded PlayStation 4. So what you want to do now as well is to make sure your USB is in either port of your PS4 and it's formatted to FAT32 or XFAT. But from here guys, what we need to do is go to our WebKit exploit of choice. So if you're running Al Azarus or basically the Leafful 1.5.6, go ahead and do that now. If you guys don't know how to as stated before or X or how to run X project, just look in a link in the description down below since I will have a guide for that. But what we need to do first is Let's go ahead and run the hen payload so that's what i'm doing here and then once my uh console has run hen what we're going to do is go ahead and just wait for the notification stating that it did and there's one step we need to go ahead and do first is to go into our settings once again go to our user guide and we need to go ahead and run our ftp server so make sure your uh ip is now running on your system so right here what we're going to do is go to, I believe, let me see, go into quick tools. If you're going to be using, um, yeah, if you're going to be using the X project, just make sure to uh, run the FTP server here. And then right now, it's just state your uh, PlayStation 4's IP. And what we're going to do here is just leave our PS4 on standby, go back to our PC and open up FileZilla since we need to transfer our games over. So let's go ahead and showcase that now. Alrighty guys, we're back onto my PC right now. So what we need to do is go ahead and open up FileZilla FTB client or any FTB client of your choice. If you don't already have FileZilla already downloaded on your PC, I will have that in the link in the description down below. You'll just install it like any normal uh, execu executable file onto your PC. But what we need to do now is just go ahead and type in our system's IP so here's mine's right here yours will be uh, different from mine's of course but once you um, basically type your IP address if you get this little error issue just go ahead and hit OK but you should see all of your contents of your PlayStation 4 where we're going to be dumping our games at is into this data folder right here and this is where um, basically MetaNephin is going to run or basically read our games from so let's go ahead and I'm gonna put this right here let's open up our games folder or wherever you have your games located at and I'm just gonna go ahead and drag and drop all of my games onto the data folder right here and the reason why I did want y'all guys to label excuse me your folders into the or basically label your folders so it's more easier for you to search for what your games are at and basically it helps or it just keeps everything neat instead of just having you know your bins and queues all over the place at least when you try to you want to select your game it's in you know nice and neat on the meta uh basically the ui so what i'm going to do here right now since it may take a little while since you know doing this with ftp is using my internet connection i'm going to cut the video right here come back once it's fully transferred and then we're going to go back onto our playstation 4 and get meta installed Alrighty guys, so as showcased here, you can see all of my files have successfully transferred over. So my games are now in my data folder. So if I go to the PlayStation 1 section, you can see that I have Ridge Racer and also Crash Bandicoot. If I go to my SNES folder, I have Street Fighter, Super Mario World, and F-Zero. 
and if I go into my Genesis you can see that I have my games here so what I'm going to do now is go back into my PlayStation 4 and now what we're going to do is go ahead and install Meta Nephin and play some games Alrighty guys, so as showcased here, we're still back onto the PlayStation 4. We already transferred all of our games within FileZilla FTB client. So what we need to do now is just go ahead and back out of our WebKit exploit. So if you're using L Azarus, just go ahead and back out, but I'm using X Project. What we're gonna do now is go ahead into our settings. Make sure you already have Hen enabled for this process as well. Go into debug settings, go into game, go into a package installer. And you should see your metanephin.pkg file since we had it on our USB. If you don't see it, that means your thing is not formatted to NTFS. And then once um, metanephin is now on our, uh, excuse me, our PS4, let's go ahead and run the application. Hit update later, of course, since you don't want to update your jailbroken console. And then as showcased here, here is the GUI or basically the UI on how it looks. It may not be the prettiest, but it does get the job done. But as showcased here, we do see our folders or basically our games we transferred over. So what I'm going to do now, since probably people are wondering how the PlayStation 1 emulation works or basically runs on the PS4. Like I stated before in the intro, I am using my Pro. So let's go ahead and run it. First game I'm going to do, um, what I noticed as well, make sure you run the Q file and not the bin or it won't basically boot up. So I'm gonna go ahead and run Ridge Racer. And now, as you see here, here is the PlayStation 1 game now loading up. Now, I'm not too sure on how to basically get it full screen. You may have to change your settings on your TV or mix with the configuration, but just for testing purposes, you can see that uh, Ridge Racer is now running on my PS4 and it's running pretty much at a good rate. There's no sound implications from what I've heard before I'm playing this. I noticed Crash Bandicoot may lag at the beginning, but as showcased here, here's Ridge Racer running on the PS4. One thing I also know about this emulator as well, there's, I'm not too sure if there's a pause button. I try to press like a thousand combos to see if it's kind of like retro arc, but um, as showcased here, um, Ridge Racer uh, Revolution is running fine. So let me go ahead and just showcase that the game is now running. And it looks really awesome, especially on the PS4 Pro. I don't think Meta Nephin can run at, you know, the highest resolution for the PS4, but it does look pretty good on, you know, the widescreen. There's not that much jagged edges. I'm not too sure if it's just the PS4 really doing a good job for the graphics, but this game doesn't look outdated as well. And maybe not all games, like I stated before, may run at the best performance. However, um, Ridge Racer looks pretty good to me for here. But yep, here is Ridge Racer running on the PlayStation 4. Let me go ahead and back out of Meta Nephin. And I think this is kind of the bad part about Meta Nephin since you always gotta like rerun the program. But the next game what we're gonna be playing is the Super Nintendo, or yeah, we, next core we should say, or emulator is gonna be running Super Nintendo. And I'm gonna be running uh, Super Mario World, one of my favorite games. And it automatically boots into it with no issues. So let me go ahead, run it. I know there is a bug as well for uh, certain games like it may like act like you have two players playing at once and I'll showcase that in a second right now when we try to play Street Fighter 2 but um I know that was an issue that they are trying to fix as well I'm not too sure um but if you guys maybe have a friend you know and you want to play two players then it automatically does it for you but it's just a little weird bug but here is um you know me running Super Mario World, one of my uh, favorite Super Nintendo games, or probably one of my favorite Nintendo games of all time. And it looks great on the PlayStation 4 Pro. So that's just it running in real time. I'm gonna play a little bit more through of this, but you guys get the idea on how to set this up. So let me just quit out the application again. And the next uh, game we're gonna be showcasing about the bug what I'm talking about. So let me go back into my Super Nintendo folder, go into Street Fighter 2, and it loads like, you know, phenomenally fast. Like even with RetroArch on a PS3, it may take a little second for the game to boot up on the Vita, but this is really, excuse me, really utilizing the power of the PS4 Pro. But as showcased here, if I go into game start and you notice I'm not choosing versus battle, which means I have to play with two players, you can see that it seems like I'm playing with basically another player, but really I'm playing with myself. So 
this is just a bug I hopefully they can fix it but here is Street Fighter 2 running despite with the bug so right now you can see that my player is following me like really close so if I try to punch myself you see I'm just gonna knock myself out so hopefully they can get this bug fixed but yeah, this is Street Fighter 2 now running on Meta Nathan. I'm going to just run uh, one more game as well for this process. Let me go ahead and run um, Streets of Rage 2, which looks very awesome on here as well. Let me go into my second Genesis folder. You can see that my games are in bin. Let me go run Streets of Rage 2. Just waiting for it to do its thing. And then... What we're gonna do here is just go ahead and showcase Streets of Rage. And Streets of Rage looks really awesome, especially on the PS4 Pro. I know with the configuration, you can add scan lines, but I usually don't mess with scan lines for the most part. But yep, here is Streets of Rage running fantastically on the you know ps4 i wish i could get um you know a frame count on here i'm not too sure if i can do that as of right now but yeah this is how you could kind of run you know multiple emulators at once instead of you know i'll showcase right now having separate emulators i was actually um trying to ask some developers on how we could basically you know try to implement that but meta Nephin does that for me which is pretty cool but yeah that's essentially how to run and you know meta Nephin on your joe broken playstation 4 if you guys have any questions or any concerns please you know let me know in the discord chat or you know have you know some questions in the comment section down below and i'll ask you that guys there but then my name is nagato and i'm signing out and i'll see you guys next time peace So he's smooth.